What's going on guys? So listen, it's been like two weeks I haven't posted a video. I definitely said, hey, I need to update my subscribers, my audience on what's going on. So 2019, new things are happening. Of course, we're training for the 2020 championships, but in the midst of that, I am getting the recording studio together. Uh, YouTube videos plus a little bit of the music situation you know your boys putting out music now so I'm definitely getting that together there's some things coming in so guess what I figure why not make you guys a part of what's going on so today got, we got a desk that's been happening got the laptop down here the flat screen up we got the lights and the microphones in but you gotta have a command chair today that came in so I said you know what on top of a product review why don't we do an assembly type thing going on for those who might be wanting to buy this chair because this shit's pretty fly I might admit so we're gonna get that chair down here big ass box upstairs I'm gonna run and grab it and let's get this YouTube video started all right so here is the chair the name of the company is Habana uh, maybe the H is silent bottom we, anyway, there it is. It's an organic chair. Uh, it's gonna match the scheme. So let's get this bad boy out of here. It's got a little weight to it, not too bad. And let's start putting it together. Before we do that, here's an image of what the chair is supposed to look like in case I don't put it together right. Here's the price. I definitely ordered it off Amazon. So if you like what it comes out to be, you can probably place an order for yourself. I might even put a link below in the description and other than that let's get these tools get this chair put together so i can kick back Reminds me of like something in cruel, like you just swing it. Uh, let's see, it's probably the base controls. And that's it. So we can get rid of this. That actually let's throw this over here. Alright, crank this box up to find the instructions. Oh snap! A glove. I act. I don't know. Is maybe? Is there two? Okay, so there's one glove in here. I'm assuming one of the workers perhaps lost it or something. So we're just gonna toss this to the side, unless I see in the instructions that the gloves included. So let's. Oh, okay. So let's tool pack right there with the uh, Allen screws, not so many, so I'm thinking maybe this should go together fairly easy. Put that right there. And a nice, ooh, look at that envelope right there. Let's take a look at that, look at that. Nice little envelope for the directions. Boom, all right. So, uh, so we got warranty card. Put that up there on the laptop, fill that out later. Um, warranty card folder, thought it was something more, and the user guide. All right, so here we go. Instructions right there. So we got our pieces. Let's lay them all out and let's get to work. So, so far, piece check, uh, floor base, control, back pad, seat pad, Bolts, nuts and bolts. Um, we're looking for the gas cylinder. 
So let's see if we can find that. That might be in one of these boxes. Let's see what's in this one. These are wheels. So we got wheels. We should have, it says five. And we do have five. So we can throw that box over there. And this box should hopefully be the gas cylinder. And valve, gas cylinder. Let's throw that box, uh, make sure, nope. So we got the gas cylinder, seat back. So, so far we got everything that it looks like we're gonna need to put this together. Sometimes you can get packages and you're missing something. So it's always better to know now instead of getting it together and be like, damn, I don't have that. That sucks. I get that sometimes from Ikea. So let's get this thing put together. I love picture instructions. So right now it says we're gonna go ahead and put the base together, the floor base together first, the feet with the wheels on it. So let's get these protective coating off of here. We'll use this box to dump all the other little stuff in. I don't see anything about this glove being part of the assembly, so I'm just gonna toss that in here with the rest of the trash. So in case somebody in Habata is wondering where their glove went, I found it. It says wheels next. Get that off, dump these out. And the wheel color is a little bit different. It's, it's not quite white, it's kind of like a, uh, it's almost like a light pink. Not that it, I guess it matters, but if you can see the color there, Almost like a light pink, not so white. So, we should be able to push these in. It doesn't say we need a hammer. Yep, fairly easy. On there, turn those over, and then get, grab the gas cylinder. So on most gas cylinders, you'll have something that usually retains them down on this one there's nothing so evidently it's probably going to be actuated by the lever pressing down on this button so just be careful that you don't press that down and get yourself busted in the face or something so says to place white base down this way and that will probably be seated by weight also so there's no need to press down on it right now because it doesn't say to do that the next thing it says we're going to put the underside of the seat together so let's just wheel that up there real quick Grab the butt pad, which is very important since I will spend a lot of time in it. You want to make sure it's cushiony for the tush, you know what I'm saying? So let's get rid of that. We got numbers and arrows and all types of stuff going on here to let you know which side's right, which side's left. I'm pretty sure if you didn't have those, you should know by the tapering of the seat. Most likely, mo most seats are going to taper and flare out toward the knee or thigh section to give you that support and taper in towards the back section so if you don't have those stickers on there that's kind of how you should know what's the front or what's the back so we're going to turn this over and right now we're going to go ahead and bust open this control panel i call it control panel. grab my tough trusty knife screwdriver show sure cut my stuff all right Ooh. Pretty nice, well oiled and lubricated. So don't put your hand in there. Get that cracked up. Might as well leave the stickers on. And we're gonna go put the back of the seat facing backwards. And it looks like the controls will go on the right hand side. And there are some pre-made holes in there so you just line those up. Now, these are slotted some, so you got some type of, you know, you got a little bit of room for movement, but not much. Since, you, since they've slotted them, the rear slots are vertical and the front slots are horizontal, so you're not gonna have much room in there to go besides from maybe left or right or something like that. So we're just gonna try to center everything up and go from there. Probably shouldn't make too big of a deal. Instructions say we are to use, I think, Push that cushion floor seat, cushion down. And okay, so they're listed right here to tell you armrest, iron joint, seat cushion screws right here. So iron joint, seat cushion screws are what we're gonna use. Are 
Damn, actually, I don't know which ones. We, I mean, we should have four, so I'm thinking it's going to be... Oh, chair tilt mechanism screws, all right, four. So it's number six. And uh, the screws do come with a Loctite filling on them. See right there? Loctite already pre-installed on them. So we're looking for number six. And oddly enough, these are not labeled by numbers. They actually labeled them by the description. So that's even good. So it even has back and tilt control screws. So those are right here. Count four. Just go ahead and put a little slice in there. Get those open. Got that. You know what? I'm going to make this a lot easier on myself. Let me go grab the drill. Nothing like power tools to speed up the job. Arr, arr, arr. All right, we got our power tools. Let's go ahead and change out this bit. tighten up it's good so uh, next we're gonna go ahead and take the floor base with the shock turn it upside down and install it in there and then we're gonna get on the back part so it says put the seat cushion on the floor with the seat cushion down side up and install that all right so that's in, good right there. So now we are basically gonna sit this to the side and work on the back piece. So here's the back piece. Ooh wee, that is nice. Look at that, that is nice. Oh, oh, oh. another piece. That is nice, breathable mesh. Breathable mesh, I like that, feels pretty good. So I can't wait to sit in this. And first, we are gonna take our back piece here and install it. Back piece, it cushion, iron joint into the back and ring the number five screws. Number five. Five, let's see what that is. I don't see anything titled Iron Joint Seat Back Screws. Okay, see, they, instead of saying, all right, on here they're titled Metal Back Joint Screws. So I'm imagining that that is the same thing. Although it's not completely titled the same, I'm gonna go with that since there is a count of four. There's not too many other things in here with the count of four, so. And we are taking the side with four square to the closest leading edge. And then in the middle, we're gonna go first. And this is pretty he a pretty heavy duty piece. It's good quality. It's not something light. I think this is a good piece of steel that's been well powder coated. So that's, that's nice to know. Uh, there's a little, you know, little kind of smudge on there, I guess, from people handling it. So let's use hand power first and just kind of get these in, get these kind of started and then we'll bring in the power tool or run them down. To go, it's about a quarter turn. So if you have a Ryobi drill, uh, probably set it on 12 and that'll get you real close to it fastening up. You'll have about a quarter turn left from what I just experienced right here. That'll put you close enough. So next, we have put the back and seat cushion iron joint into the chair tilt mechanism. So we're gonna bring back the bottom portion, slide this down in that what it looks like, and then we'll have two, two screws with two washers to attach. So let's move this over, get this piece back over here. 
hold this piece while you turn it over because I don't want it to come out on you. You know, weight's going to totally set that in. There's a nice little slot right here. And it's it got a, pla a nice, I don't know if this is plastic. It's, it's something phenolic covering it so it's well boxed in it looks real good i like the i like the way it's constructed and we're going to slide that down in here and it looks like yeah you're going to have a little place so you're going to have to use one hand to kind of get the holes lined up and then put the screws in which might be a pain but hey you should be able to do it kind of run them in a little snug but not too snug so back rest and armrest screws not what we're looking for and did it give us a number? Oh, that's the... Uh, back and seat cushion iron joint. Number four. So it is iron joint seat cushion screws. Uh, iron joint seat cushion screws. Seat and cushion armrest screws, backrest and armrest screws. Seat cushion tilt mechanism screws. That's probably the one we're going for. Now, I, I have noticed that. So listen, the descriptions that are listed in this key, oh, come a little closer. The descriptions that are listed in this key don't totally match up with what's on here. So you kind of need to go through that and that's, probably due to maybe, you know, some type of language barrier between the instructions, how they were written into the translator or however it came or whoever they outsourced these got the hardware from. So go ahead and get the lock washers on there. And like I said, use one hand to align the screws. should be tight enough. Let's, let's snug it up just a little bit more. Nah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Next part after we do that is to put this back concealment piece on. This is going to cover up all of this here. And that's nice not to have that out. That they've made a piece of garden, a garnish to cover that up. So let's get that on. Be careful not to get too excited, rip that off, and then break something. And I'm gonna put that on like, how is this going on? All right, so this piece goes in right here. So pretty much there's two little notches and I'm looking for some kind of snapping action at least, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. So there are screws that go in there. And here they are. It's two like pretty much like kind of like metal sheet wash screws. So you're gonna need to lay this chair down this way in order to get this piece on. Because underneath here are two slots for the screws. I was hoping that something was gonna snap in place, but it's not. It's actually held on are secured on by two screws and they are a Phillips so we will have to change this head out and they're so coarse that I'm not going to worry about changing the head I'm just going to use good old hand power Phillips head screwdriver and run them in get the chair back on its feet boom there we go look at that piece right there that looks real good so far so we're almost there we're close it's a pretty sharp looking chair. I'm actually impressed by, by it in person more than I was seeing it online. I'm really liking how it's gonna come in. So next, armrest. We gotta have armrest to kick back. So let's see how that is. So, and I noticed here, cause I was a little concerned. I thought I saw a little bit more hardware left behind. I'm like, maybe I didn't do something right, but they gave you spares in case you lost some. That is freaking awesome. Cause most companies don't give you spare hardware. That's cool. And they gave you one of each section. You gotta love that. That's, 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 that's quality. So let's go ahead and put these armrests on. All right, so how are these gonna come on? All right. Boom. 
Oh, that's cool. That's nice. So this one definitely is going to go on this side. And there are, okay. So you got two different types. You got a real long one and a short one. And let's see which one goes on which. Number two are the shorter ones and they will go up top. Number threes are longer and they will go towards the bottom seat part. So let's go ahead and put the number twos on first. Get those on first. And uh, put that one right there. It is the Allen. Let's go ahead and just kind of, it's gonna be hard to run that in by hand. So you're just gonna kind of start off real slow. Now, this is another good thing. So they even went a step further. All of the cavities that we put the bolt and hardware in, they gave us garnish covers. So we have little covers to put over that. That's cool. I like that. And they even gave us a spare one of those. Well, yeah. And they gave us spare washers. So that's even cool. So as we got plastic, I'm going to give them a little help coming out. Pop these in. Yep, hand power is good enough. You don't need a hammer. If you have to, you got like a plastic or phenolic mallet. That'll work. Don't use metal or anything or any black rubber because then you're for sure going to leave a scar on the white finish of this chair if you get the white version. They do have a black version as well. And the rest of this is extra hardware. So I'm going to make sure to keep up with that along with the instructions. But we are ready to take this chair for a spin, so I'm gonna have a seat in it. Take it for a little whirl, and let's see what we got. Let's get this out of the way. I don't want to chair up. All right, so let's see what we got. Oh, 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 yes. Nice firm bottom, but it's it's got some type of like a, I don't know if it's like memory foam, but it's like adhering to the contours of my bottom, you know? So yeah. Let's see about these controls, what they do. Uh, okay, that's up and down, so we got that. That's definitely great for the height of the desk so I can get up under it. And let's see how this kickback action is. Oh, oh. Oh, we kick back. That is nice laid back. So when I'm thinking about content, I can just relax and come up with it. So anyway, Let's get you guys in a little bit closer to check out this hot chair. The name of the company, once again, is Habata. Bada, I don't know if it's silent. There's the name. This is the chair. This is the episode. I'm going to be busy coming up this weekend, so I'm going to try to get this out for you all, like, probably tonight or tomorrow, maybe even Sunday when I get back. My son's being scouted for D1 colleges. We got trips to make. I got daddy and daughter dances to do. So I definitely wanted to, oh, I just noticed this head piece is awesome. But anyway, let's get you in to take a spin around this chair. And like I always say, be safe. Let's build together. Peace. <laughs>